Hey everyone, today I'll be doing a tutorial inspired by a JLo on the floor image which will be on my blog and I'll have that linked down below. And in case you're wondering, I'm listening to Eminem's new album when I'm filming this. Um, so to get started, I'm going to be applying a face primer. I'm using Make For Makeup Forever's HD primer and a flat top kabuki brush. This one is from um, Sedona Lace, I believe. So I'm just buffing that all over the skin. Oh, and then I'm just um, putting back my fringe out of the way. Then I'm using Makeup Atelier's um, liquid, waterproof liquid foundation. And this one is slightly too pale for me, um, so I just add a little bit more colour with the powders at the end. Um, but I'm just applying that all over the face and down over the jawbone as well to blend it in. And then for my concealer, I'm using full coverage concealer from NYX and this colour is in beige. All the products I use will be listed on my blog as well. Um, so I'm just buffing that over my blemishes and then under my eyes. And to set my face then I'm taking Hello Flawless powder from Fit in the shade Honey and just um, patting that on all over my face. Then using um, Sleek's Suede Effect powder in number two, I'm using this kind of on the outer edges of my face. So again just adding in a little bit more colour. And then I'm dancing a little bit <laughs> and then taking Urban Decay's um, Primer Potion applying that all over the eye to prevent any creasing or filling in the shadow. The first shadow I'm using is from this NYX palette and it's this um, like white frosty or off white frosty shade um, and I'll be applying that into the inner corners and applying a fair bit of it there's a strong um, Jennifer Lopez has a strong inner corner highlight in this image. So buffing that on there then I'll be taking a light um, champagne colour and applying that all over the lid so it has a slight pinky tone to it. And then moving on to the crease I'm taking a light brown matte shade from the Lorac Pro palette and buffing that into the crease and upwards is more of a transition colour so I'll be applying more colours into the crease like Max Harmony blush and I'm applying that into the crease just to give a bit more depth so not bringing it up as high as the taupe colour. And then again I'll be going in with another colour, Sable, which is a darker brown from the Dark Pro palette and putting that right into the crease, into the fold of the crease um, and on the outer corners. Then going back in with my champagne colour and a smudge brush, I'm running that on the inner half of the lower lash line and then into the taupe, I'm doing that on the outer half of the lash line and I poke myself in the eye there and you'll see my eye getting redder and redder through the tutorial. <laughs> and then I'm taking a, a nude pencil from Rimmel and I poke myself in the eye again. So by the end of my left eye is pretty uh, bloodshot, or my right eye depending on how you look at it. Uh, so just playing that in the lower waterline to open up the eyes. And then I'm taking a blue gel liner from Fairline 38, this is in the number 2, and I'll be applying that to my top lash line using a synthetic push liner brush. So just pushing that into the base of the lashes. And then for a shadow to put that I'm using Max Contrast which is a navy colour. Same brush and just pushing that over the top and kind of flicking it upwards to just fade it out slightly. And the other eye as well. I'm just curling my lashes and I'll be applying mascara um, the L'Oreal voluminous full definition one the gold one this one applying that to my lashes and then I'll also be doing my bottom lashes quickly And for my brows then I'm taking my Rimmel pencil in dark brown and just filling in my usual shape pretty much. Then for my cheeks I'm going back into my Mark ha MAC Harmony blush and applying that um, kind of under my cheekbones, um, more as a bronzer really. So just again adding more colour to the face. Then I took this light um, pink lip gloss but there wasn't enough pigment in it so then um, after I've applied that 
I move on to um, here it is a barium lip paint in number 155 and it's just a light pink color and I take that on a brush and I just um, take a little bit up and then add that over the top of the glass just to give it more of a pink color and then that is the finished look so I really hope you like it I hope you enjoyed watching if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up or and or leave a comment and um, all the products I use and the inspiration image will be in my blog which will be listed or be linked down below thanks for watching and I'll see you again bye